you gotta fight to win. Fight to win. Fight to win. I'ma say it again. You gotta fight, fight, fight to win. Fight, fight, fight to win. It ain't no more gym, it's over. It's about to begin. I'm so dedicated. Good Monday morning. Today is the day that the Lord has made. Thank you for joining and tuning in to Indy Fires Monday Motivation. This is your man, Caso. The My Struggle is My Strength Motivational Speaker. I hope that everyone had a great weekend. And guess what, guys? My team, my team finally won. I told you I wasn't going to give up on them. They finally came through with a win. And I'm like super excited about that. But before we get started, I'd like to thank Indy Fire for giving me this opportunity to speak. You can tune in to her show at 6.30 p.m. on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays for music, entertainment news, and daily inspiration for everyone. That's right, guys. Go to Blog Talk Radio forward slash Indie Fire. That's E-N-D-I-E. Fire is F-I-Y-A. Check it out, guys. And Telecaso sent you. We began our faith series um, discussing faith and I just want to uh, recap on a couple things that we discussed about faith and if you missed our uh, our faith series or any episodes I highly suggest that you go back and you listen so the question is what is faith and how does it work now faith is the assurance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen right faith is not based on your feelings you know kind of like how you feel because you can actually feel faithless and be full of faith because faith is not an emotion emotions don't have intelligence they don't think emotions are feelings and feelings can shift based on the information that it receives right so we walk by faith and not by sight we walk by what we believe to be true and 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 although you haven't seen the evidence this principle gives us access to the supernatural you know it's it's also imperative that you don't waver in your faith you know what i mean by that is you stay solid you stay firm with what you're believing and and you don't let the frustrations of weariness come in and and kind of detour you from whatever it is that you're believing in then in another episode we talked about faith dreams your dreams have to be so big that you realize you can't accomplish it without god's help and you have to pair your dreams with your personal goals because goals is the fuel that keeps you going right you know like when you're struggling and it's really hard you just gotta you gotta keep going you gotta keep pushing you gotta look beyond the pain and look beyond the 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 challenges you know goals ultimately keep you focused and they keep you committed and whatever you committed to that's what you become commitment really helps you to discover your identity and your purpose in life there's a process for turning our weaknesses into strengths and i believe the first step is identifying your weaknesses because you can truly you can't truly work on your weaknesses until you call it out you know i mean like you really have to name it you literally have to keep it real with yourself you know like if you are a lazy person or if you um let's say you procrastinate or if you're uh if you're always late or if you're a perfectionist you know whatever your weaknesses are you got to identify them because that's when you can begin to work on them right and then we have to understand that our weaknesses have a purpose but you got to see beyond what you're currently dealing with and understand how your weaknesses can be used for something good and taking this approach keeps you humble it keeps you from being um it keeps you from being arrogant and 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 it teaches you how to value others just a little bit more okay so your weaknesses should really make you more dependent on God because when you realize you can't do something on your own or in your own power, that should make you more dependent on God. I mean, let's 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 really let's really think about this. If you didn't experience any weaknesses or any struggles or any challenges, you probably wouldn't you probably would think that you were self-sufficient. Right? I mean, like 
I learned to really like celebrate my weaknesses and celebrate my my struggles simply because because I understand that they are not only for me, but they are really for the betterment of someone else. You know, so your story and your experience and your experiences are designed to encourage someone else. You know, the person that that can help somebody that's struggling with an addiction or or being in a um, an abusive relationship or or, or go through um, a divorce. You know, that that is someone that has shared that same experience. Right. You see, I, I remember when when I started back like working out at the gym and you know i was going in the gym with my cane and i was going in there with my wheelchair and you know that whole process was like a a a mental adjustment um for me because i felt you know i felt embarrassed um i was a little bit afraid to to do it and um i was a little bit insecure because you know I, i i don't know my my focus and attention was on how I thought other people were looking at me and I was like well (laughs) this is not going to be good but I really wanted to work I really wanted to um wanted to get better and I really just got to the point where I was like you know what I'm just going to um you know just just have some courage to to go and 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 see what happens and you know what what turned out is that wasn't the case people really wasn't looking at me like how i thought they were and um it was a a sense of of strength and it was a sense of 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 motivation for other people so you know that was encouraging that that encouraged me to continue to go because it it benefited someone else while i was getting stronger and while i was working out it really was strength for other people so i had to i had to be vulnerable you know i had to swallow my pride and 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 vulnerability is is empowering you know it is it is it's healthy you know that's why our brother paul says to confess our faults to one another and pray for each other so you can be healed this is the pathway to wholeness and transformation for your weaknesses this is your man Caso. follow me right now on instagram at ms underscore is underscore ms and join us next week in the continuation of our faith series i hope everyone has a great week please 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 continue to wear your mask wash your hands sanitize your hands clean your hands keep your hands out your face (laughs) keep them out your mouth and remember That saving lives starts with you.